Hello everyone, this is Zephyr here. Welcome back to Monster Hunter World on PC. As you can see, the Summer Twilight Fest is finally taking place, so we finally get to enjoy that, which also means we now have access to the Handler's Best Outfit. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Our Poogie will change appearance here in a moment. Um, and in this video, we will be checking out the Summer Twilight Fest. I don't believe there's any new events. Uh, and we'll also be doing limited bounties. Soon. Oh, you are too good to me. Let's start with that. So we have events, flying wyvern, and tempered monster hunt. That's pretty easy. How many events is it? No, three events, two flying wyvern, and one tempered monster hunt. So that's pretty easy. Alright. So, let's start by going up to the Celestial Pursuit and checking out its, uh, actually first let's check, nope, it's not there, okay. Go up to Celestial Pursuit and check out the Summer Twilight Fest, uh, decorations. Alright, welcome to the Summer Twilight Fest. For a limited time, the Celestial Pursuit and its staff will serve all hunters in vivid seasonal outfits. Se a special seasonal platter will also be available, packed with fresh ingredients, and they're on the house. Get the handler and your poogie into the spirit of things with special outfits. Check the notice board or the official site for Summer Twilight Fest availability. It's just this week. Uh, the handler's special outfit is only available during the event. To change outfits, talk to the housekeeper and select change of the handler's outfit. Your Poogie's seasonal outfits can still be used even after the event ends. Obviously, like with all other outfits, the handler's outfit um, is available after the event, and you just have to purchase it. Uh, during the Summer Twilight Fest, many facilities and features provide some extra perks. Sales. During a fest, each facility features daily sales, event quests, event quests available during only during the Summer Twilight Fest, and other challenge quests are available. In addition, during a fest, most of the past events quests are available again. If you missed out the first time, make sure to try again for a chance at special equipment. Login bonus. Not only will you get two lucky vouchers during a fest instead of one, you'll also receive a special Summer Twilight ticket. Weekly limited bounties will change on a daily basis during fests and will reward you with fireworks or summer twilight tickets. Fireworks is a consumable item. Use them when you're out on a quest or expedition. You can craft more of them by using a summer twilight ticket when talking to the Elder Melder. That's awesome! I get so happy when I wear this. Which means she's in her new outfit. So let's check out the fireworks since they're going off now. I don't think they do anything special. I think they're just normal fireworks. Because I think it was the Celebration Fest where they'd sometimes, like, be a palico face or something. So this is all the fireworks. So let's talk to each of the, the people and get their dialogue. Oh, hello. So what do you think of our new uniforms? I think they're pretty spiffy myself. Yeah, did you get a chance to try out this new summer platter? I believe the summer platter is actually pretty good. <laughs> Whoa, that Rathalos ice sculpture is spewing fireworks? Alright then, take the gander. Oops, I thought that was going to be a new line. <laughs> hmm, something's hiding in those plants. Where's that guy from Botanical Research? Is there something actually hiding in the plants? I'll have to check. Oh, hello. Okay, so that's all hers. That Rathalos ice sculpture over there is magnificent, and here I thought the feline carver meant something else. <laughs> the new summer platter is so yummy, it's hard to concentrate on anything else. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome. I put on my costume today, too, because I didn't want to be a party pooper, but seriously, why are we wearing bikinis way up here? That's actually a good point. So good to see you. This place looks so festive, but these flowers are driving my allergies crazy. I'm kidding. It's just you. Oh, wow. Rude. <laughs> so 
Someone said that there's supposed to be a joke in this line, and I'm trying to figure out what it is. Oh well, I'll figure it out later. But that's all her dialogue. Sassy, as usual. Actually, let's check out the... There's the Arathalos Ice Sculpture with the fireworks coming out. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, and obviously you can see the feline carver on the top. It's so good to see you. You like these new outfits? You're not the only one. I might have to hang on to this after the festivities are over. Uh, luckily, she's talking about herself and not s someone else. That seemed like it could be pretty creepy there for a moment. Hello. Had a bite of that summer platter yet? You better get moving or else it's going to be all gone. That's not true. That sculpture is so cool. Okay, I'll see myself out. Oops. Hi. Sometimes those wing drakes start pecking at the bananas. It's driving me bananas, let me tell you. It's so good to see you. Okay. So that's all hers. And someone said something was in the plants. I don't see anything in the plants. I don't think there's anything in the plants. Maybe I'll catch it later. Alright, one more person to talk to here. Hi. Having a bite to eat while the Raffalo stares you down is something we don't get to do every day here. Hey. Oh, that reminds me. <laughs> no peeking over the counter now. I love these red flowers here. Aren't they gorgeous? Hey. Good evening. Everyone from the second fleet helped us out with the fireworks. Hey. Those guys had way too much fun setting things up. Hey. Hi. All right, cool. So that's all the dialogue. Um, so let's go check out the uh, handler and her new outfit, and then the poogie. Alright, so here's the handler's new outfit. It's easily her best outfit. Like, bar none. talk to her. There we go. So there you can kind of see it. Um, but this is her summer pareo, I think it's called. But uh, this is her summer twilight fest outfit. Um, like I said, if you if you want to keep it, you can always purchase it. Uh, I, of course, have because I purchased all the DLC. But um, we'll be leaving her in this outfit for a while. Uh, probably until Iceborne. Um, just because it's her best outfit. So <laughs> All right, so next let's find Poogie, and we'll take a look at his new outfit. Then we'll go and take a look at the craftable stuff. I don't know if I have enough um, tickets yet, but I have a couple of tickets already. Where you be, Poogie? There you are. So this is probably my least favorite Poogie outfit. Um, I mean, it, it's cute, I guess, but when you compare it to some of the other stuff, it's eh. But that's the Poogie Summer outfit. So, let's go check out what we can craft. And we'll also have layered armor that we'll be able to make. So I'm actually surprised that he didn't ever, 
uh, tell me about a quest for layered armor. I just gained access to it, which is kind of weird. Our new one is... Is it the butterfly? No, that's summer insect field guide. I just never made it, I guess. never made these? I guess I didn't. I guess I never made those ones, which is weird. Um, I swear we made these. Maybe I just made the layered set. Huh. Well, whatever. It, it's not that big of a deal, but I swear I made these armor sets, but I guess I didn't. Um, it's been a while since we had the autumn and winter fests, so I don't remember uh, if I did or not, but clearly I have a ton of tickets, so I always can make them. Alright, so here's the, the summer fest armor. It's the Diver Alpha. It looks a lot like the... Um, I don't think it was Plasyoth armor, but it was... Um, there was an armor set in uh, the old games that looked a lot like this. I think it took some Plasyoth parts, at least. Maybe it was the Plasyoth armor, but I don't I don't think it was. I think it just used some Plasyoth parts, but um, here it is. Gives you, like, it's just a, a diver suit. Uh, looks a lot better on, cons or on PC than it does on console, that's for sure. So it is Marathon Runner, Critical Eye, Quick Sheath, Aquatic Expert, and Hunger Resistance, all at level 1. Um, all level two. I'll have a single level two slot, so nothing really special there. I am not going to make that right now because I only have twelve tickets, and I'd probably rather have the layered armor. But that is what our summer twilight tickets get us. Is that set? So let's go take a look at. Let's see what we get. It's a layered set, because we can probably take that. <laughs> Alright, complete deliveries. Apparently I have two. Oh man, we've been missing out on this all this time because we didn't have the Summer Twilight Fest. That's funny. Alright, deep dive down. Um, so this gives us the diver, so the same armor we were just looking at, this gives us a layered version. Uh, Oi Fiver, even in the thick of a summer, you're wearing that nonsense. Go get me the materials I need and I'll fix you up something, uh, something to cool down that, something to cool down that hot mess. Uh, and I can make both of these, so let's go ahead and make it. So here's the diver layered armor. And then lurking in the shadows. Oi, Fiverr, I'm tired of looking at that clown suit of yours. So I made these cool shades to block out that horrible imagery. Go get me the materials I need, and I'll hammer together a pair for you, too. Shadow shades, layered armor, which this is pretty cool. Um, so it takes a black crystal ticket and two summer twilight ticket, which I already have, so I'll take that. Hooray. Um, so... head. Where is it? Oh, there they are. Shadow Shades. So that's pretty cool. And then if we wanted to do all, there is also... Did we have the butterfly layered? Oh, that's funny. I didn't know that. Or at least I didn't remember. There's Diver. So here we are. Diver, layered armor. Just like the armor we saw. Um, we'll turn that off. But I do want to turn on the shadow shades at least, just for the fun of it. Turn on our head armor. There we go. You can see our shades. Super cool. Alright, so, let's go do some questing. 
So that's pretty much it for the what the Summer Fest brings. No real difference from the other fests. It's just one we didn't get because the game hadn't been out in summer yet. Now it has. I will say I do think the decorations for Summerfest are the best uh, out of all of them, just because of like that Raffalo's ice sculpture and all the fruit and stuff. I just think it looks nice. I really like it. But there you go. So um, this is the Summerfest, and uh, that is the final festival that we hadn't seen. Um, they're still doing a. Autumn Fest, Winter Fest, and the Celebration Fest um, after this, before ending the festivals. And like I said, it's all leading up to Iceborne. Um, so there will still be more to do, and you can continue doing events and collecting stuff. Um, but this was just the last festival we hadn't yet had on PC, and now we've had it. So we need Flying Wyvern and... Tempered Monster, so we could do Snow and Cherry Blossom or Nose for an Eye. What was it? it? Was Oh, this one's perfect. This one will knock out almost the entire set of requirements. We'll just be event quest short. So, let's do this. The reason being, we want... Um, We'll get two Flying Wyvern right out of it. So Summer Twilight Platter gives us defense up small and attack up medium. That's why I think it's probably the best of the festival ones. It doesn't... It looks like it's giving us four orange and two blue. So that's not bad. Oh, that's what I forgot to show you. Oh my goodness. We'll go do that. So here's our Summer Platter here. Couldn't really see much difference from the normal platter, so there might not have been. Um, let's cancel this quest real quick. Hi. Because, of course, we can't forget our Palico. Poor Shadow. I to totally forgot about him there for a moment. He has equipment too. gets the Aloha set. Do we have enough tickets? Yes, we do. Okay. Just barely. Gotta enjoy this cutscene a little more, because uh, it's gonna be... We're not gonna see it much anymore, because Iceborne will have a new one. for a while. Now let's head back up and do a quest. Oh, hello. You'll notice I got my lucky voucher back, so it wasn't wasted. Uh, 
All right. So this might be the only quest I do in this video. Um, we'll check and see if there's any other events we haven't done, but um, I'm pretty certain we've done everything. Uh, so there's no reason to draw it out. Instead, what I'll do to finish up my limited bounties is just the, like some really quick event quests. Um, and the reason for that is I am still very focused on console because it gets Iceborne first. Um, Iceborne for PC is January 2020. They actually changed the release date. Well, I shouldn't say change the release date. They gave a more firm release date. Before, they just said winter. Um, now they've said January, so it's a little more exact. Uh, we know what month now. Um, but console, since it's in a month, uh, I need to finish getting the platinum on it before Iceborne comes out. So I've been really focused on it. Um, and it's not to mean I won't, I, I'm still going to be playing a ton of PC, it's just, uh, I'll be focusing more on PC once I finish, uh, console. So my plan is get my console platinum, then get my PC platinum, and then start farming coal. And then once I'm done with coal, I'll start farming Greatest Jagras. the plan at least. Whether it'll play out that way, I don't know. Um, but that's just, if there's no new event quests to do, um, then, you know, I've, I've shown you everything in the Summerfest, there's no real reason for me to uh, drag on the video. I know the videos have been getting shorter, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because uh, I know my videos are very long. There's no point in having a super long video where there's not any new news for me to talk about and uh, no new quests for me to do. Oh, I cannot wait to get the EI slash so that when we get set up in a bad spot we can easily uh, continue the combo. Get back over here. Oh, okay, that's one way to do that. Let's say where is is she? Oh man, I was off this morning. Still early, I'm pretty tired still. Oh, for Christ's sake. Oh, and then I didn't even get to hit her. Come on, like, yeah, like, come on down here. Is that chasing her up? Is there's no point? She'll just come down here and then. I'll still not be where she is. There we go. This makes it a little easier to hit her with a foresight slash. She's going to head this way, I think. She got over there fast. I'm not used to that. Nice. Oh, come on. Thanks, Shadow. Ridiculous. Oh my god, I hate Godzilla sometimes. Like, really? Twice it screwed up my freaking uh, Helm Splitter. Oh, because 
that. Alright. Alright, cool. I'd still be able to stop her. sometimes. We probably would have had her dead if my freaking helm splitters hadn't gotten interrupted by Gajalaka being dicks. Now I gotta climb slow because I've got ice blight. Alright. Up we go. She's not dead immediately. How dare you? Oh. There we go. That's one limited bounty down. And a half of another. because could use some tempered investigations. Didn't get one, but whatever. Alright, off to the Pink Rathian. So what we'll do is when this quest is over, we'll check and see if there's anything new that I'm not thinking of um, that we need to do. And if not, then we'll end the video. If so, we can do that. Foresight slash, and I didn't foresight slash, so that's nice. I don't know what happened there. Like, button inputs just stopped working. Which, I mean, I do need a new controller, honestly. So it could be that. Oh, son of a. Alright, well that 
head back to the Gathering Hub. We'll check out what quests are available, see if there's anything new. And if there's nothing new, we'll end the video. And if there is something new, we'll check it out. I don't think there's anything new, though. Alright, finding that pink Rathian material is going to be tough. Oh, also... Oh, I guess it wasn't tough. There has not been a new video or trailer that's really that's announced anything outside of what we saw before, which was the Bracketeos. Um, so we still don't know if we're getting Xenogre, which for me is the, the major one I want to know if we, we are getting. Um, there was a leak of the trophies. Uh, I have not checked it because I don't want to spoil that for myself. Um, but uh, there hasn't been any new monsters leaked. So, um, they're not leaked. There haven't been any new monsters announced. I'm still holding out hope that when we see Bracadillo's gameplay, we'll get a tease for Zenogre, but who knows? Zenogre and Fatalis are the last two that I want to know are in the game, and they wouldn't announce Fatalis. That would be a you're playing the game and discover if Fatalis is in it type thing. Jeez, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, uh, I'll deal with those later. Let's take a look at quests. Oh, All right, so we've done that, 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 I believe, at least. I don't remember what ticket it gives, but I'm pretty certain we've done it. Done that, done that, done that, done that, done that, done that. Yes, yes. Um, yes, 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 yes. Well, we might not have done this, but I mean, there's no real point. It's too low rank, Kieran's. Uh, and I know it's not new. Poison Posse, Gaze Upon the Dawn, Scrapping with Shamo, Slash the Pan, Ag Lovers United, Wiggle Me This, Triple Threat Throwdown, Rolling with Your Gan, Deep Green Blues, these are all the crown quests, so I know we've done those, Revolt Star, the Arc Tempered, so I know we've done all those, we did do Tempered Devil Joe, Arc Tempered, Arc Tempered, um, it's just Xeno you know, Jiva. Yeah, I believe we've done Quest you try to join is no longer available. What? What just happened? I bet I get disconnected from the network. Yeah, it's communication error. That's fine. Um, did we do Throne Taker? Hi. Ugh, I gotta reconnect. Um. Oh. Cool. So my internet's out. That's fun. i um, not sure what happened there, but... Uh, I guess that tells me I have to finish the video. So, uh, I might do another video with the, the Summer Fest. Or maybe I'll do it during one of the other festivals of potential event quests we haven't done. Um, I don't remember if we've done Throne Taker or not. Or No Tomorrow for Usurpers. So, I might be able to do those, um, during another video. So, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. You can also subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon, uh, if you want to get email updates when I upload new videos. And, of course, you can leave any comments or suggestions in the area below the video. However, that is all I have for you today. So, thank you so much for watching. And, as usual, this is Zephyr. Signing out.